Hey guys, how's everyone doing? Today's Friday. I'm finally getting to paint the watermelon that I talked about earlier this week or about the last week. Y'all haven't overlooked me. I'm cherry, cherry red. I took the kids to the beach yesterday and I kind of got too much sun. So I'm like, my forehead's like blistered. Like a, ugh. But anyway, hey Tamara, how's it going, girl? But I've already painted the back on the watermelon and the edges, so I'm gonna paint the front with you. And then I have this pumpkin. Ugh. And I've done painting the back and the edges on it too. So all I'm gonna do is paint the front on this with y'all. I went ahead and did the edges in the back because it kind of takes up too much time to do it all in one video. So I am just going to get started on these and okay, okay women, I'll fix that. Oh Lord, please don't start again. My internet, this the internet service here is I mean, it sucks, which we live in the woods and in between two fields. So I'm gonna just go scoot y'all down <clears throat> so y'all can see what I'm doing. So maybe that's good. So I won't be able to see too many of the comments because I kind of get dizzy headed when I'm trying to look up at it or look down. So we're going to get started with the watermelon and let me get my paper plate and this has done been used several, several times. Hey, Manina. And I did this as the front and this got a little mark on there. Maybe I can get that sanded it off good. All right. And uh, this one, the watermelon is a pink and I, I did it with cranberry. So. Let me go ahead and get my base coat on the front. Y'all, this is actually my first time painting a watermelon. Can y'all believe that? Living in the South. Hey, Linda. Hey, Casey. Daniel's actually outside trying to get that radio fixed. And as y'all know, I use a sponge to add to apply my base coats. Hey, Sherry. Oh, look, there's a clunk of paint. Y'all, my kids start school Monday. Who's excited about their kids starting school? I'm usually the one crying, but they have been so wild this summer. I'm kind of ready to get back on a routine and a schedule with them and have some days to myself. All right, see how quick that was just to get the base coat? And of course, I'll go over it probably about two more times. So I'm gonna dry it and sand it. And I put the camera on the on the other side of my table because y'all I have to stand up when I paint I just I don't know I can paint better standing up and like I said I usually just stand over my first coat my base coat to get a it gives it a smoother finish and I think it's all to do with the type of wood that I use to half inch burnt take too long we're just gonna put another coat and probably gonna dry it and add another coat just depending sometimes the um certain paint they cover better than some others and depending on the colors and stuff too and i think i wind up putting i don't know maybe three coats on the back so this front may take four coats I don't know. We'll see. And I don't even think I've introduced myself to anyone that's new. My name is Trina Kulik, and I am the owner at Trina Kulik Designs, where I make wooden door hangers. And that's the second coat. Let's get it dry. And I also 
always dry my coat because if not, sometimes you just kind of like just twisting the paint around. And it ain't really making it get any extra covers on it if you don't dry it first. Welcome, welcome. Yeah, this paint stinks. And it's the Apple Barrel. There's some of these Apple Barrel paints. They, oh, they almost make you gag for some reason. And I'm just putting my coats on here, y'all. Because I don't like my wood to show through. And just about any paint that you buy you're going to have to do more than one coat. So let's do, I think it's going to take at least one more coat. Oh. Probably one more coat. Hey everyone, welcome. the back right. All right like I said it's going to take at least one more coat so what is this three or four coats four coats y'all hear any water sound and I'm washing and drying clothes so I know it's right here at me so that's what the funny noises is coming in the background probably. Alright. <clears throat> Alright, I think that's going to do it. And I kind of like just to smooth it out the best I can. Yeah, I think that's going to do it. Let's give it a dry. lighting in here is not the best for painting. It kind of puts shadows on my wood, but I think that's pretty good. All right, so with this one, she, this one's got the green rhyme. I'm just going to kind of go with it and not really going to draw it out. I'm just going to kind of freehand it. I'm usually one that's a little bit precise with every single thing. I just had a piece of water drip on that. But with this one, I'm just gonna freehand it. So maybe it won't be a complete fail, y'all. Hey, Aunt Mary. Hey, Mary Huggins. How are y'all ladies? Thank y'all for joining me. And this green for the rhyme is actually called Christmas Green. 
So, all right, let's do this, y'all. So I have not drawn it out, so I'm just gonna kinda go with it. Maybe it'll wind up being level. Is it level even? If not, that just gives it a little bit more character. <laughs> a little bit more of a handmade item, I guess. Uh-oh, somebody's coming in. I don't know who that is. Oh, that's Zoe Layla. That's Zoe and Eli. All right, so there we go. That looks pretty level. So now let's just fill this in. All oh, here's the camera. Hello, I mean, guys. All right, move over. Bye bye. Maybe I'm not covering. I'm covering everything, I know. I always do that, y'all. So we're just gonna fill this in. I'm trying not to get it on my edge because I've already got it painted pink. So the way I prevent that is kind of just go out towards the wood. And that helps from getting on the edges as bad. Sometimes it still gets on there. What are you doing? This is really, this is going to bug me because it's not, okay. Ha! Fixed it. Alright, so, there's that. Oh, it's pretty level, don't it? Alright, so let's dry it because that's going to have to take another coat. <laughs> hey, Pam. How's it going, girl? My first watermelon I've ever painted. Living in the south, that's kind of crazy, I know. Just gonna get this dried really well before I put another coat. If I don't dry it really good, then when I put, uh, touch it with my paintbrush, it's going to take it off and make a big old mess. Alright, let's see if that's dry enough. I have to keep on getting me a sip of Mountain Dew, y'all. It's my energy. And this looks like it's going to take another coat. Which, and I'm fine with that. I would rather do coats instead of caking it on there really thick. Because I do not like caked up paint. Alright. So instead of us just, instead of me drying that again, we're going, I'm going to go ahead and put the dots. Since this has got dots on it. 
And instead of using another pink, I'm just gonna use the same pink, the cranberry, and mix a little bit of white. And then I'll come back later on after I get the dots and do the other. Hey, Roxanna. How's everybody doing? And I'm just gonna freehand these dots too. So, just gonna get me some white and I'm gonna mix some white in with this pink just to lighten it up some. And I'm definitely gonna need more pink than that. I meant more white than that. Gonna mix it up because we got to have a lighter pink for the dots. It doesn't have to be mixed completely. You can leave it marble if that's what you want to do. Let's see. Let's do a little bit lighter. I might just get that pink off right there. I mean that white. I've got to get me some squirt bottles. And I got some paint on it right there. All right, so I'm just gonna kind of leave it, leave it like that, and we're gonna go ahead and start working with the dots. So it's not mixed completely, but it's it will work. So let's see. Let's put a dot. Let's put a dot here. I'm not doing any certain pattern with these dots. I'm just putting them wherever. Wherever I think I need a dot out. My paint's getting a little bit thick on there because I do not like it too thick. Yeah, please let me know if my head's all in the way. Hey, Miss Betty, how's it going? <clears throat> Some people, they stress over these dots, so if you want to use a pattern, you can use a pattern, just trace anything over it to make a circle. See, like, that dot's not, that dot's not perfect. And you can just kind of keep on straightening it out if you want trying to get my edges. My edges has got like paint caked up on it. And I'm not crazy over it doing that. So I'm just going to come here with a dot and this one might go off the watermelon. Like that. Kind of like a half a dot. Let's start here. have one kind of going off here and let's have just a little one coming off here all right I don't know maybe we need one here too Alright, I'm going to stop because if you don't stop, I can get happy with it and I can do dots, 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 dots everywhere. Doing good. Good, Miss Betty. Alright, so let's draw this real quick.
those dots are not dry, but we're going to go ahead and do another coat, another quick coat on this green. Because it's dry. And it doesn't need to be too thick because it's, it's covered pretty good. And then we're going to go... Uh, we got to put some stripes on it with a lighter color green. Miss Betty, my kids absolutely love watermelon. They love it. All right, and I'm going to use the same brush. Let me get, I didn't get a paper towel. Let me go get a paper towel real quick. Just rinsing out my brush. All right, we're gonna put gonna put lime tree green stripes onto this Christmas green. Right. And I just drip water everywhere. I'm just making a hot mess for myself, y'all. Making a mess. I drip water everywhere. Must it on the bottom of that jar. It's on that pink right there. Alright, no big deal. Here we go. You do too? <laughs> they just make such a mess. I told them this past summer they wouldn't eat no more watermelon in the house. They would put it, I think they jug it too hard with the fork and then they have little holes in the bottom of the rind and it has, it just leaks juice out everywhere. And they had it leaking out all over my floor. And I was like, no more watermelon in this house. Y'all want a watermelon? You eat it outside. All right, we're just going to put stripes on the watermelon rhyme. Like I said, this is the lime tree green. And I'm kind of just going with the width of my paintbrush and just adding a little bit to one of the edges to make it a little bit wider than my paintbrush and again you know these may not be perfect but they are cute I seriously cannot believe I haven't ever painted a watermelon. I wanted to, but I just have such a hard time with coming up with, like being able to do new designs because my Etsy shop, I don't get too much of a break with it except for in the summertime. And then the summertime, you know, I get kind of busy with the kids because it's a hassle y'all. And I'm telling you, my, my kids are not normal. They are not normal. They are a wild bunch of youngins. Sometimes I don't know how to handle them. But I did have to take yesterday off and take them to the beach. This was the first day that I was able to go to the beach. So I said I was going to take the day and we were going to ride out to the beach for the day. And so that's what we did. And then this week's been so 
Hit it. All right. So there's the stripes. And those are going to take another coat. So let's dry them real quick. Again. <clears throat> kind of just, ooh, kind of just trying to get the outsides, I mean the inside of these circles. Hope my head's not in the way. Thank you, Miss Betty. Sometimes I get on these lives and I think, most of you might think, I don't know what in the world I'm doing. Because I get, I don't know, I just get nervous painting when I'm on live. And when I'm not doing live, I will, which, you know, went ahead and got this all over with and probably would have been about done with this watermelon. But I get nervous and I, I actually get a little bit shaky. <laughs> when I need to just... Don't worry about it and just paint. Alright, I just about got these circles, guys. just joining them joining me my name is Trina and I am the owner at Trina Kulik Designs and I just decided to jump on here and paint this watermelon with you all right I think I'm gonna do a little bit of a I think I'm gonna do some white swoop white little swoops in there just mix up a little bit of the the pink and just kind of do it like that and that will kind of help kind of just gives a little bit of dimension and it also helps with the coverage we cover up some of that pink I mean, yeah, the darker pink. And that light's got me like all messed up. Y'all see the way that did? So there is that. All right, so let's get back on to the green. This is actually pretty simple. It's about done. Uh -uh. I won't be able to finish it on here with you because I can't remember if she wanted their last name or if she wanted the welcome on here. So I'm going to have to look or text her and see which one she wanted. Because I cannot remember. I should have looked before I come on here. But of course I didn't. Hey Teresa, how's it going? Y'all, thank y'all so much for joining me. I know I could be quite boring sometimes, but I have to concentrate. Gotta concentrate, because if not, then I promise you, I will make a huge boo-boo on these suckers.
<clears throat> trying to keep my head out the way off. I put my head in the way. I'm sorry. Don't mean to. Hey, Debbie, how's it going? All right, so that should be good with the green on those. Let me dry it. brushes is about had it they are pitiful now the one she sent me has hey Allison has a straight black line here but I think I might do a swirly black line <clears throat> so let's try the swirly black line my green's not completely dry, so let me see. So we're going to do the swirly black line. is looking pretty cute. I think I'm liking the swirly line. What do y'all think? Did that swirly line turn out pretty good? I think I like it better than having just a straight white line. And I'm just going to kind of go over it. Because from where I started... Sometimes the paint gets a little bit thicker. Right. And I kind of got happy there. Kind of got happy in that spot. Let's dry it. Go a little more time. Thank you, Mary. No, I think I need to make it thicker. So, so I did that. So I'm going to come and I'm going to make this a little bit thicker. Just so it kind of matches that spot. Because some people it might not would bother. But it bothers me. So we're just making this thicker, guys. All right, so there it is. Now it's not quite on level. I'm just trying to smooth my paint out. It won't be thick in some spots. All right. There we 
again. Let's try. Thank you, Tamara. Thanks, Miss Betty. Like just a few spots that can use a little bit of touch of black but I'm not gonna go over the whole thing all right and then it has white dots and I'm gonna use the end of my sponge brush to put the white dots on there So I'm just going to dip it in my white paint and put them on there. This kind of takes up a little bit of time, y'all, but I just, just do not see me being able to draw little tiny white dots this small with a paintbrush. I've never tried it and don't plan on trying it. Some of my black's still wet, y'all, so I'm trying not to touch it. One thing I like about using the end of my sponge is it gives it a little bit of dimension too because they're not flat. I kind of like that. Alright, we just about got it. I think I'm going to do, I don't know, I might do like half a dot here. Alright, so there we go. That got a little bit thick. Let me try to get some of that off. Alright. Hey, Miss Pam. Thank you, Miss Debbie. Like I said, this is the first ever watermelon. And I cannot believe I've never painted a watermelon living in the South. That's terrible. But it was a custom order, so I said, well, yay, I get to paint one. So there it is so far. All right, let's see. Oh, the seeds. This is what's going to get me. The seeds. I got to make seeds. But this one's only got three big seeds here. And I'm going to use my pencil. Ooh, what was that for? All right, so I'm gonna try to draw the seeds out, y'all. Thank you, Miss Pam. So let's see, this light has me like way off. So let's put a seed here. Then there's one here. 
then there's one on this side. Yeah, those seeds are looking kind of funky right now, but we will see. We're going to have to work with this, y'all. Gear lower. All right, let's see if I can paint these seeds. I might not be able to paint them. All right, let's try this paintbrush. That one didn't turn out too bad, right? Right? Okay. Let's get this one. Just coming from the side of it has me like off, y'all. I guess because it's going to a different angle. And it has me. It just throws me off a little bit. I think I need to make it fatter. There's the second seed. Cute, 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 cute. Now the third seed. Try not to touch my white because it's still wet. My paint's like way over there. Hello, yay. I stumbled on your live just now, but we have heavy cloud colors. So I'm so it's cool. Oh, I'm sorry, Ann. Well, you could get the replay. It will be posted on my wall, so maybe the storms won't get too bad. But thank you for joining me. I'm so glad that you stumbled across my page and stopped by. All right, let me see. All right, y'all, that's looking pretty good. I got to make this like a little bit. There we go. I think that seed may be a little bit smaller than the rest. So let's go down a little bit more, make it a little bit a longer seed. As long as I don't get happy with it. All right. So there we go. There's the three seeds, and I've got to go over that again. Hey, Miss Marie. So let's dry them real quick. All right, let me see. I've got to, I think I'm going to put some white highlights down here on this green. I'm not sure if I want to put the highlights. I don't like, like on the lines here, on the green lines. Or if I want to just put the highlights here. Or to do some swirly. I think I'm just going to put them on the green. We'll see. Let me dry these, these seeds real quick so I can do all my highlights in one go. Let's go over these seeds one more time. Y'all just don't know, I was really, really nervous about painting these seeds. I don't know why. 
which I wouldn't have been as nervous if I wasn't live. Thank you, Miss Marie. If y'all don't mind, hit the share button and share this for me. I would really appreciate it. Y'all don't know how much that helps us um, out on Facebook with our businesses as you sharing it and getting our name out there for us. Y'all, next week I can start coming on a little bit more because guess what? The kiddos will be in school and I will have some time to get to work in and really get going and get some more fall designs out. And my virtual paint party for September closed Wednesday, I think it was, the 15th. So I've got to get the new design out for October, which is going to be a Halloween design. I'm thinking of a witch hat, but I'm not sure yet. If you have any ideas, how about let me know. Um, so for the virtual paint party for October, it is closed, but you can still go and purchase and sign up or subscribe for the virtual paint party for October. Anytime after the 15th is for the next month. So if you want to go over there or if you want to wait until I actually put, post the design next week, that'll be uh, all right too. All right, let's try. It is really looking cute. that I want to use for the highlights. Yeah, yeah, I desperately, I really got to go get me some new brushes. This is ridiculous. It is ridiculous. Let me lift this thing up. Let me find my round tip brush and I don't know where it's at. It might be disappeared. That seems to happen to me a lot too. If you have a kid that loves to paint, your things will just magically disappear. And I do not see my round tip brush anywhere. And that one's way too small. Okay, so we'll just do highlights with an angle brush. How about that? Because I do not see it. Oh, here's one. But that may be a little too big. That's too big. All right, let's use, I think I'm just gonna use this angle brush. All right, here we go. I use this angle brush here. It's a small angle brush. Little small angle brush with my paint all over my hands. We're gonna do some white highlights. Now I think we're gonna do some white highlights on the green stripes. Just gonna get me a little bit of white paint. I've got to get me some some bottles. Miss Debbie Poole, she actually shared where she gets her little bottles from. And I will be heading over and getting me some of those. So I'm just gonna put some white highlights kinda like on the edge of the green. Can y'all see that? Kind of like that. Here's my husband, y'all. I didn't tell him I was coming live, so. A slice of watermelon with a dash of salt sounds, oh, it does, don't Miss Debbie. I'm live. Better tell my husband I'm live, y'all, or he might say some things y'all don't want to hear. See, exactly. He's crazy. He's crazy. Alright. So there's that. Let's add some highlights into the the seeds. There's my nephew. All right, so I think that's going to do it, y'all. Like I said, I've got to message her. I can't remember if she wanted welcome right here or if she wanted their last names. I've got to find out from her exactly. 
See, I can get happy with these things. I think I'm just going to put a little bit of white. I'm one of those that has to make myself stop. Or I keep on adding and adding and adding. All right, that's it. So I'm going a little bit beyond what she wanted anyway. So, so this is it, y'all. Hey, Wade. I meant Kelly. Says Wade and Kelly. So sorry. Hey, Kelly. How's it going, girl? All right. So that's it. And y'all, I was going to do the pumpkin, but I think I'm going to wait to do the pumpkin. Let me message her and find out exactly what she wants wrote on this. But so here's the watermelon. Um. And then I may come back live later tonight or either tomorrow um, to finish painting the pumpkin. Daniel's laughing at me, my nephew. I'm fixing to put him on camera. Come here, Daniel. Why not? You better quit laughing at me. I'm going to chase you down with my live video. All right, guys, so that's it. And like I said, I may come back on to do the pumpkin. Beautifully done. Love the details you add. Oh, thank you so much, Debbie. I appreciate that. All right, so y'all keep a lookout. And if I've come live, I will post it on my page. I don't have my, the um, mini chat set up. I just have it set down and figured that sucker out yet. One day, maybe. One day, I'll do that. But y'all just keep a lookout on my page, and I'll let you know when I'm going to come live to do the pumpkin. All right, y'all enjoy your weekend. Thanks, y'all. Bye.